Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to, I guess, the third installment of um, DPS Idol. So, what I'm going to be kind of going over today is I'm going to be kind of recapping a few things, but I'm also going to just explain things a little bit more, how to progress faster, and uh, what's good and what kind of isn't good. Um, but I do have a couple new things to show you guys, uh, things that I've unlocked, which is pretty, like, awesome. Um, so I got ethereal cards as you can see right down here um, I got an ethereal hunter and I've also got the ethereal chieftain um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure I am so those cards They would have taken forever But the reason why I got these and how I've gotten so far in the past couple like I think it was like two or three days um, I got a lot more gold cards, as you see, for the blue deck, and I got my third gold card for the green deck, and I got Tungus. Reason being, increase the duration of magic by 320%, which is insane. Now, the reason why, I unlocked the magic guild. The magic guild is actually insane. So... Um, I do want to give a tip on this. So once people unlock this, or if you guys are even willing to make it this far because this takes forever to get to um when you get to this you it's basically like every other guild with the multiplier um and also when you get the the dude in the hood you want to always keep up to date on him he upgrades every guild i think you need like 16 silver cards for him or whatever so always keep up to date on him and make sure that you're constantly upgrading and keeping up to date on your times multiplier for your guilds. Um, so this, as you see, I'm at 2.62 billion percent right now, which is actually pretty good. Now, what it does is it boosts your orbs here, your orb multiplier damage. So I'm going to make another one of these. Also, how you get that throw cards is from the second boss. You make it in here. It costs one. To get your second card, it costs two, which you have to wait an entire five hours for. Then this one you get from the third boss, the one on this side. And when you make it, it gives you the red potion. And if you're not sure what it does, um, kills a selected monster. You can just basically click on it. This one runs the magic for a minute longer. Allows you to create ethereal cards. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Um, so... Basically, um, what I want to kind of um, recap on, I guess, before we kind of show you how powerful the Magic Guild is, like, I just want to show you, I'm, I'm on the fourth location right now. Like, I just in the second video, we were just passing the second location, just getting to the third, and possibly thinking we unlocked the Magic Guild when really you had to be in the third one without the damage. Like, it was... That one was a little insane. But once you unlock the Magic Guild, holy, the game progress speeds up. Okay, so um, the things that I wanted to recap on. Now, this girl, um, the reason why I suggested in the first couple of videos, the daily bonus, I want you to get the hero experience. The reason why is because it, first off, it helps this girl a lot. I only have, um, so right now our experience gain is 231%. The reason why I say to get it is because she gets 10% every gold card. So I have four, I'm pretty sure I counted that right. <laughs> 11, okay, I did. I just had to recap. I'm a little a little slow right now. Um, so yeah, I have 11 cards, which would normally be 110. But because of all the experience boost, not only from them, but I think it's, is it this girl that does it? Yeah, right here. Plus 30% to the speed of gain experience. That's the other thing that you want to boost on her. Get it to two as fast as you can, which she only has to get to level 10 to achieve that. Um, also, um, so basically getting up all of her stuff helps boost you through the game because they help out a lot, especially the power of fish cards. 
which help your bandit fish to give you more DPS and your ice sword that helps you unlock the magic guild because they're going to be your main DPS. So, um, still talking about her, she is going to be your main source of damage because of the boost of the magic spheres. She's insane, especially her with the magic guild. The damage is just unfathomable. It's ridiculous. And these things are insane. Launches magic, accelerate, uh, oh my god. Launches magic and accelerates magical spheres, greatly increasing their damage over time. So, basically, the time will speed like speed up and it will make it run out faster, but it increases its damage amazingly. And that's why the magic guild is completely broken, especially with her specifically so once you get to the magic guild grinding to the next guild after that shouldn't take too much longer like i literally as soon as i unlocked the magic guild i went halfway through this i think i'm almost done the fourth area because of the amount of damage this is put off another thing is is every time you ascend on the magic guild this blue lettering right in the middle magic power it says times 20 every time you rebirth it goes up by another one. So it goes to times 21 and then times 22. So basically you could just keep rushing to it and get that up. And it basically just keeps increasing, not the multiplier that you gain, but the m magic power on its own. And the multiplier goes off of that. Plus this girl boosting it. There's a lot of buffs here. And that's why this is so insane. So I've gotten a lot of cards from that. And now, I want to talk about this in particular when you get your first ethereal card so this guy as you see right now i have the four swords on him but without it i think he's 180 or something like that qa and with one extra he goes to 208 which is pretty good but as you see right here with this gold guy it's 27 qa in my opinion, it's kind of worth it. It's like almost 10 times the damage, which is an extra guy that you can push through. But it's not really that worth it. So I suggest to just not get him. Your first ethereal card that you want to get is probably a hunter. Specifically because the gold one gives you 766% leaves. This one gives you 9,000. So gaining leaves is just so much faster and you can do it so much easier and it's honestly a lot better to do it that way um and the other thing is so i do want to show you guys this but that was like i would say that's the most important thing get the hunter first because i messed that up and i it took me a while to grab my second one not like too long but i was it was just an upset, I guess. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a boost. I didn't really read him. I just instantly did it to him because I thought it would be worth it. Anyways, I'm going to show you the power of this. This is actually insane. Plus, I just got Tungus, so this is my first time using this. Um, so as you see, I'm at 434 billion, and then my green one's at 2.87 trillion. And as you see, like, I'm barely hurting them. As soon as I activate this, they're going to start flying down. And we're going to start flying through stages. And then we're going to activate another one. So as you see, we were at the beginning of this. And we got all the way to where we are now. And I'm allowed to, I can ascend for 7.39 billion now. The other thing is I am saving my guild loyalty until I get this guild up because I plan on doing it to this guild. So I don't suggest you doing any of these scripts for a while because getting back to the mage guild is going to take you a lot of grinding again, especially since you don't. Because when you ascend, you lose the mage guild. It resets everything, right? So it's a little, it's a little crappy. So I suggest that you kind of keep grinding it, basically. Don't, don't do the scroll anymore after that point. So that was basically everything that I had to kind of show you guys there. So I just want to reset quickly, and I kind of want to show you guys everything. 
that I was kind of just talking about. So this guy right here, um, Guildmaster, he helps you basically boost all the guilds up. And you just want to make sure that you get every guild till it says the guild multiplier is too low. And once you get them up to where it keeps saying that, then you know for 100% fact you're good. And then uh, just to get rid of them, just join any guild and leave it right away. And then you can actually pick the heroes that are worth it. Now this girl, um, just kind of get any of her buffs up right away especially the leaf one and with the ethereal card that's nice i grinded her to level 20 which if you want to get a hero up and you know that you're not really going to be playing um put one on go to sleep when you wake up she'll or whatever the hero is will be like level 10 possibly even 15 and you can get the next upgrades um so i let's see how long oh my Goodness, okay, so this video has already been 11 minutes. I had so much to unfold, um, but I did want to go over one more quick thing that shouldn't take too long. Um, but when you, like, I kind of wanted to go over when you first start the game and kind of, like, what it is and where to go because I know a lot of people, like, it's not a confusing game, but it just seems like it might be a little hard there's a couple of things that you can also do to kind of speed it up. This dude is really OP, especially in the early stages. And then he basically at gold is stronger than... He's not stronger than the Ice Sword, but he also is. Because you can get leaves a lot easier. So you kind of want to just grind him. And then the first... Well, it's... Sorry, not gold. Silver. He is better when he hit because he hits gold while the blues are still at silver. So you want to use him and grind bandit fish up and get bandit fish to silver. And then once you get gold um, for blue, then yes, ice sword becomes more powerful. And that's basically all I kind of wanted to talk about. If there is any questions that you guys have. Just be sure to leave them in the comment. I can go over it. I'm sorry that I made this video a little bit longer than I was expecting. But I just had so much to talk about. And there was just so much to go over. Because I unlocked quite a bit. And I just wanted to retouch on a couple of things that maybe I didn't hit. Or I might have. And I'm just retouching on them. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content. And don't forget to like the video. Have a good one and peace out. Hey guys, so um, this is just going to be a little cut at the end of the video. Uh, so I am going to probably not be uploading another video right away for this. Um, the game is at a very like, it's not like a super grindy spot. Um, I did get a little bit further um, and I just don't really feel like, I don't know. Like, it, it, like, I just don't know what else to make a video for right now until I maybe get a little bit further. Um, so the videos are going to slow down for this for now. Um, I will come back to it maybe once I get the next guild or um, once I get to location five or something. But for now, uh, this will probably be the last video. Sorry for making it even longer than it needed to be. But uh, I hope you guys did en enjoy the series for now. Um, I will be bringing it back. But uh, we have a whole new series and everything that I'm going to be starting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And peace out.